Hello friends. Today we'll be discussing how to configure log shipping on MS SQL Server 2008. So before we start, let's try and understand what is high availability. Uh, high availability. There are various applications which hit the database for report generation that is to read the data or to update records or to perform certain manipulations of data on certain record sets. Now each of them need the database to be alive and active for their requests but due to any uh, natural catastrophical error, uh, error or system related issues the server might go down and hence be unable to respond to such requests. On such circumstances there are certain ways and means actually by which we can make the entire server or the particular database alive and available. They are uh, said to be the high availability options. MS SQL Server has primarily four high availability options like uh, number one is clustering which happens on the complete server basis where the complete server fails over to another automatically when the primary server goes down. Log shipping is the second option which happens on the database basis where the complete primary database fails over to secondary database in case of failures. The third is mirroring. This option also fails over the complete database but it has an automatic failover option unlike the log shipping in which case the failover needs to be done manually by the DBA. The last but not the least the option of replication which is on the object level uh, for high availability. Here the object like the data for the tables are replicated from one server to another by the help of publications and subscriptions. Uh, there are various options of replication like transactional, merge, snapshot and transactional with merge update option with update options sorry. We will be seeing replication in the later video sessions. This session is completely dedicated to log shipping. So let's try and understand what log shipping is and what it can do for us. Log shipping with, uh, with as far as log shipping is concerned we can ship the .trn transactional files for the primary database. This is uh, log shipped to the secondary database configured for log shipping and uh, once this is uh, backed up and copied to the secondary databases they are restored onto the secondary database this helps us to keep the secondary DB in sync with the primary DB the primary purpose of keeping them in sync is uh, that in case of failure whenever the primary DB is unable to respond we can manually fail over to the secondary DB and make them the primary one for uh, responding to the database uh, requests also one more important point is that the failover for log shipping needs to be done manually and we can configure multiple secondary servers log for log shipping which is unlike mirroring. In mirroring we can have only one primary uh, DB, uh, DB for the failover. So let's uh, try and understand uh, how to configure log shipping. As we can see uh, I have one uh, primary server two instances of server this is the primary server for me and the second instance is the secondary on which I will be configuring log shipping so I have a, a database that is LS demo uh, log shipping demo database here in this uh, database uh, there are there is a table uh, employee table let's uh, try and find out the contents of this employee, employee table as you can see the employee table holds three records uh, for Keshav, Shalini and Abhishek. So uh, we'll try and uh, configure this database for uh, log shipping. The first step for log shipping is uh, the database of whichever we are trying to configure for log shipping should be uh, in full recovery model. So let's validate if uh, how about LS demo database uh, the options for th uh, the recovery model should be full as you can see right the second is uh, the uh, the SQL server agent the SQL server agent for uh, the both the primary SQL servers and the secondary SQL server must be started and running since all the jobs that is the backup copy and restore jobs will be run by SQL agent for log shipping so 
once this is in place we can uh, the first step is to take the backup so of the primary data database and restore it onto the secondary instance wherever we want the log shipping to be configured so let me try and take a backup So let's try and use uh, the facility of Compress Backup which is available in SQL Server 2008. The com full backup is done. I will also take uh, the transactional log backup for this database. Add it to the same file okay once the backup is done let's restore this uh, database on the secondary instance from device as we can see there are two files for full and transactional log let's restore both of them right during restoration there is uh, one simple point to be noted uh, that uh, there are two options for restor restoring the database the one is the restore with no recovery and the second is restore with standby uh, having said that uh, what i mean by this is uh, during log shipping we can either configure the database uh, the secondary databases in uh, with a restore with no recovery option by which i mean the database will not be accessible and will be in a restoring state throughout the log shipping and once uh, there is any failover happening manually uh, it will come back to online state and will start responding when we manually uh, recover the database back but uh, the difference uh, uh, we can also uh, configure the log shipping in standby state by which i mean the database will be in the read only state and that means uh, during the log shipping whenever it is occurring we can also read the data uh, throughout the log shipping so uh, we can see if the data is in sync or not and on to the secondary database so let's uh, i'll prefer going with the standby state so that at least i'm able to read the data so the restore is complete as you can see the database is in standby and read only format so let's try and read the data if it is in sync with uh, the primary data right as you can see all the three records have been uh, replayed and restored uh, once this is done i think we are all set for uh, starting the configuration the next is the important step for configuring the log shipping so let's start configuring the log shipping for this database the first step is transactional log shipping and enabling i'm enabling the database for log shipping configuration the backup settings let's start with this there are few options which needs to be uh, filled before uh, the backup for the backup settings so right uh, this is the network path where the backup will be taken uh, the first thing is uh, for log shipping is there is a backup taken there are three jobs actually the first job is the backup the primary uh, 
SQL agent is the primary instance of SQL server has a SQL agent job this is this is the job that will be created on the SQL agent for primary server and this the job uh, the functionality for this job is to take the backup of uh, uh, the dot trn transaction files and place it over this path this is the this is the network path and this is the uh, same path on uh, on my system so here at uh, this path the backups will be kept so this is the place where the dot trn backups will be placed for uh, for by the di by this job the next uh, also we'll uh, we'll try and create a schedule for this job let's keep it to 3 minutes so that we can see the job uh, changes in by done by the job asap the next is the secondary database configuration so let's add the secondary we can have multiple secondary instances for configured for log shipping so here i'll demonstrate with uh, the second instance installed on my system the first step is to initialize the secondary database so here as you can see the sql server offers uh, help by uh, by uh, saying that it can also take a backup on of the primary database and restore on the secondary database so this configuring configuration tool will uh, itself take the backup and restore it if we had not done it uh, the way i have done i mean uh, the way i have restored it myself so but since i have done that i'll go with the uh, secondary database has already been initialized for this and i'll move on to the second tab that is copy files once uh, the uh, once the files or trn files have been backed up the second step is to bring them on to the secondary server uh, so here we'll have to specify the path where we want uh, those files to be placed this is the place where this uh, the files will be copied from the primary so as you can see i have created two folders primary and secondary the first job will back up the files over here and the second job will uh, copy them onto this place right uh, let's also uh, this this is the sql agent job which will uh, do the copy of the .trn files transaction files and uh, let's try and create a schedule i am giving it as 3 minutes the third and the final job is for restoring those .trn files which have been copied now the important point is uh, the sql server agent on the secondary instance should be having access on the primary instance uh, on the primary folder by which i mean it should be having access on on to this primary server this uh, primary server folder this folder because if we do not if it uh, doesn't have access on this folder it will not be able to copy the files from here to the secondary server and hence the job will fail so it is important uh, to be sure that it has the access now once that's done the restoration uh, job will uh, this job will actually go and restore the dot uh, trn files from the secondary a server folder and onto uh, onto the database and try and keep both of them on sync this is the first last and the final job that will be running now this can be done in the standby and no recovery mode as i have already mentioned but we since we are going with the standby mode as we want to read the data so let's select the standby mode and also create a schedule i am putting it for 5 minutes so that's our configuration for log shipping 